Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So, differences are that um, we've taken this one, uh, taken the hero, and just tried to make every element a little bit nicer. So we have a brighter screen, a higher screen resolution, a smaller frame, which we've made out of a one-piece aluminium machined out, uh, and unlike a normal phone, which is made uh, in layers, we slotted everything into the bottom of this one. Taken away the uh, trackball, we've gone with an optical mouse, we've got the latest version of the Google Android operating system, uh, which is 2.1, the latest HTC Sense, which allows you to navigate in a few interesting different ways, allows you to um, uh, have over 100 extra widgets, also has exchange, PDFs, uh, uh, full integration of all your social networking, uh, much more than the last generation. It's also a little bit stronger and hopefully it's a little bit faster processor, still got Wi Fi, HTTP, uh, GPS assistance. In faster processor, do you mean uh, as fast as the uh, Nexus one? No, so this one is the uh, 600 megahertz. This one's 528. Uh, Qualcomm has used a uh, slightly different strategy. They've made it better for multitasking. Is it Snapdragon? No, 600 megahertz. We have uh, this one's all about design and efficiency and just making this one better on every single level. We do have a Snapdragon processor that we're showing off today. It's the uh, HTC Desire. Um, so this one's all about making the largest screen, the high screen resolution, the brightest screen, the fastest processor, everything all in one. So it's a slightly larger device um, and it's not uh, the one piece aluminium that you have on this side, but Still fairly beautiful and an amazing screen, a bit of technology. And everything you do is, uh, is lightning fast. So if I, um, if I want to move something around, press and hold on it, I can put it anywhere to screen. If I want to uh, uh, go on here, go to a blank page, add a widget, you can just go on here, add some widgets. We have over 100 extra HTC ones. You can download any more from the marketplace. And we have, uh, it's a bit too efficient now, I think. We have uh, more HTC widgets, we'll constantly upload. Uh, we have some new, new things on there, things like French Street. So uh, obviously different choices, different ways to work, different movements. Is, uh, is this one, uh, the screen technology is... Uh, OLED? OLED here? Yeah, but same. Not there. No, same. Both Both OLED. But same. this one seems uh, to have less finger marks. Is that the only difference? Uh, I think it's possibly that I cleaned that one before we started filming. <laughs> <laughs> But how about the, the screen resolution difference? Same, same, WVGA. So the highest resolutions. This one was not? Half VGA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Half VGA and a non OLED screen. And the size? Uh, is 3.7 and 3.2. So it's a little bit, a little bit smaller. Um, this one's all about design and being designed in an interesting way. This one's all about being the fastest and the best. And we're also showing off one Windows device, which is the HD Mini. HTC HD Mini, we're trying to make the HD, um, but in a smaller size. So it hasn't got the same size, it hasn't got quite the same process with that, but hopefully we're not losing anything. The software's the same, we still have the same, uh, same efficiency, same um, features, and, and yet on a smaller uh, smaller device. Still very quick, very easy, uh, much easier version of the Windows software to deal with, but still can uh, pair with any PC on there, open any document. And we've made this one, again, in a different design. So with this, uh, with the legend, we slipped everything in the bottom, uh, and that made it smaller and more efficient. With this one, we've made it as big and efficient as possible. With this one, we've made it uh, a standard sandwich design. Now, everything is being held together by these four screws, and everything, you take the back off, is a design feature. So every element of the design is thought about and made simple and easy to try and make it robust and a lot cheaper. So even though it's uh, going to be a smaller, lower cost handset than the, the HD2 uh, that we've got, it's still as beautiful and as good as we can make it. Nice. When you say you put everything in the bottom, what do you mean by that? So literally, uh, a normal phone is made layer on layer, whereas with this one, it's one piece of machine aluminium. Um, so instead of making it layer on layer, we have to slot everything in. Uh, so if we stop looking at the software, See what I mean? Even the, uh, the battery and things slots straight in, and everything is is arched in a different way. And then the 
that's not the same uh, as on, on, on this one, Desire, you uh -huh. have a different uh, kind of opening. Yeah, exactly. So this one's much more of a, 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 a normal normal flow manufacturer. We're still trying to make it very very beautiful, but I think most phones, including this one, are like a very big 3D game of Tetris. Whereas with these two, we've tried different elements of design, different ways of working and making a phone to make it more efficient um, and hopefully a little bit cooler for stars. How about the HD2 uh, screen size? It's not available on Android yet. No. But what would be the difference between HD2 and the, and the Desire in terms of the... Uh, 4.3 uh, screen to, to 3.7, uh, but the HD2 is non-OLED, so um, so obviously you can see it's just a lot brighter. Um, the, the HD2 is our movie watching device, and Windows can pair with any PC, any Mac, any movie file, any music file, uh, you know, it's, it's really good for, for those, so for our movie watching device, it just makes 100% sense. So, so these devices cannot play, for example, DivX format? Or... Uh, I think they can, but I think you need to, uh, with the Google Android system, as far as I'm aware, um, the customer's much more into the, the marketplace, yeah. than getting applications from anywhere else. Um, and I think you can play any movie format if you go outside the marketplace. Um, but there's not yet, and this may change any day, it may, may have changed you know, in the last few days, but at the moment I haven't got a really good movie player that can play every format. But it's on Windows, it's been for like 12 years, with a couple of different movie uh, players, I can play everything. But this chip can, can, out, can uh, decode HD video, but there's no HD output to an HD TV. There's no way to use a connector to do that. Um, I know on our, on our older devices with a mini USB, we have on our website mini USB to, to, to yeah exactly uh, micro I guess we do but I don't know I don't know it's not, uh, not my expertise so, um, so right here uh, the, what what would be the difference in price between uh, the the legend and the desire uh, I don't know and I honestly don't know it would change um, it would change by country and it would it would change but I have no idea um, sorry so HTC is really uh, um, uh, like the, the leader in, in Android phones. Definitely, definitely. And, uh, so, so in terms of uh, 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 RAM and, yeah. and uh, the, the processing power, this is the fastest Android phone in the market. Yeah, with our set of that. We make uh, phones as well as we can make them. Uh, um, our upper management want to make the best phones they can possibly make. Um, and we think people people around the world want the best phones we can make, um, taking nothing else into account. So these are uh, as good as we can possibly make them. And we take the, whether it be the Windows, the Google, or even we're, we're working on a new operating system just on our own in one of our handsets, we still make them as good as we can possibly make them. And how about the HTC does HTC Sense, which is a, a, like a top layer uh, yeah. Uh, and that, that is uh, something that is, uh, when you buy an HTC Sense uh, device, you have to use it, or can you also, also disable it? No, you can disable it. You can do possible? anything. We're all about choice. Yeah. HTC is all about choice. Yeah. So the idea is you can use our user interface, you can put another one on there, you yeah. can create your own. Okay. Uh, it's open, so you can get an application from the marketplace, whether that be Microsoft or, or Google, but you can also put an application on from anywhere. Yeah. We're, uh, we're all about choice. We are, first and foremost, a uh, hardware manufacturer, but we obviously think that our software improves the yeah. devices. So uh, on the HTC Desire, uh, yeah. it's possible to, to uh, for example, disable the HTC Sense and get exactly the same as the Nexus One in terms of interface? Uh, I think to do that you would have to go quite far in. It's certainly not a setting on a Windows phone due to the way, uh, the way a Windows phone works. Yeah. It's just a setting that you can go into. Um, on a Google phone, I think you'd have to go in uh, and manipulate things and change things. But if you wanted to download, say, from the marketplace, yeah. another user interface and put it over the top, somebody designs it, that's no okay. problem. We, we, we don't mind. If you change the ROM, then we yeah. will no longer guarantee. Okay, that's not the... Uh, which yeah. is a different thing. But a user interface, yeah. somebody wants to put one on, on marketplace, yeah. That's, that's fine. How about getting HTC Sense on the Nexus One? Is there any solution that will officially be announced for that? No. No, no, no. no. The Nexus One is a Google phone. Yeah. Um, and the, um, you know, that, that's how Google want to have it. Yeah. Um, and it's great. It's a great device. Yeah. Uh, certainly the hardware inside is brilliant. And yeah. I think the software is great too. Uh, the, the difference with these is that we take, rather than them taking the, the components from us and putting their software on, we take the software from them 
we add to it and we, we mould it how we want it yeah. and put it on our devices. So the yeah. Nexus One is a Google product. These are our devices. Okay. Very separate. But the way the way the, that you uh, designed the, the sets, sets UI. It, you did a lot of uh, research to make sure that it was actually a better experience, or uh, is it like faster to get to all the things, or is it like, uh, what's it? Do you think it's faster? It seems pretty fast. Uh, it's, uh, but, uh, is it just an application on top of Android, or is it more than that? It's much more than that. It's much more than that. It's much more than that. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, it's a whole different ethos. So we work in a slightly different way. We want to, uh, to really make use of that multitask and make it as efficient as possible for our customers. Um, it's, a, it's a whole ethos. All right. Cool. And uh, the availability of uh, this one is not in the US? Uh, I don't know. Again, I don't know. Uh, it's not anywhere at the moment. Not anywhere, but it's, uh, it should come soon in, in Europe and uh, Asia at least. Uh, it's supposed to be April, a global release, yeah. but this is totally down to which country is taking it, who wants it, and uh, none of that has been decided yet as far as I'm aware. Uh, you know all these animated uh, backgrounds, do they use a lot of more battery power in London? Is it just a fancy kind of... Uh... Uh, from my experience of the last few days, no. no? Uh, and I actually think that um, good battery management is a, a lot uh, more important than having animations or multitasking. I think if you manage your batteries well, then you get a lot longer out of your batteries and you get a lot, lot more life. All right. A video recording is not HD, no? Not HD at the moment. Yeah. Uh, I believe the hardware in there could support it. Could? Absolutely. Yeah. It's VGA at the moment. So it's just a software maybe issue? Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's an issue so much as uh, uh, software. time and cost and, and everything. Yeah. So there might, might be an upgrade for HD video recording? Uh, I don't know, but I, I know the, the hardware's in there, so if somebody wanted to design an app or, or anything like that. Okay, thanks.